What's up, guys? This is Randall and Diana, and we are in, in the, the journey, journey of prosperity. prosperity. Today, what are we gonna talk about today? Today, <laughs> we have five tips to help you save a thousand dollars a month. I don't Extra. think they're gonna believe us on this. Do you think they're gonna believe us? They will not know if they don't try. Hey, watch this video because this <laughs> has saved us over a thousand dollars a month. So, with this and said, hopefully it works for you. Yeah, ho hopefully it works for you too. So, let's get started with tip yes. number one. Tip number one is learn the skills you pay for most of the time. Okay, so I used to pay to get my nails done, my eyebrows, sometimes my hair, and he used to get haircuts every week every week because i was in the military i was forced to basically get a haircut every week and all of that adds up so if you try to learn to do it yourself uh, sometimes it will even come out better the way you wanted it because nobody knows yourself better than you yes and not only that but when you do it yourself one you save a trip to go to those places and wait so um if you can develop those skills it will save you money and time and gas. That has saved us at least like $300 a month. Yeah, definitely. Be sure to um, try it out. Mm -hmm. You might end up saving yourself roughly around the same price. And you'd be surprised. You might get even really good at it. <laughs> yeah. Tip number two is have different types of transportation. We learned this one the hard way. We only used to get around cars. So um, when I was in Japan though, I had a road bike and I used to take it everywhere. Um, but then somehow came here and I guess I adjusted my life or our life into just driving. Now we only have one vehicle and we only use it for business purposes or to do some errands or to go to a friend's house. But now we get around by either running or taking the bike somewhere or even going for a walk to going get the errands. Yeah, this yeah. saved us so much money and also not going to unnecessary places when you don't have to go to those places. And it also have helped us in our health because we've been a little bit more active than what we used to be. Yeah, yeah. We've saved well over $300, $400 a month just on this. That's tip number two, which is have different types of transportation. Now we're going to tip number three. That will be paying off your credit cards and stop spending on unnecessary things. Yeah, we were doing pretty good at this. And when we recently get, uh, started getting married, you know, we- What do you mean start getting married? Oh no. Well, we, when we recently, <laughs> when we recently <laughs> got married, we used to uh, spend money a lot in Costco, buying a bunch of whole food. And then we used to not end up eating all of it. So. We thought we were saving money because you know Costco sell Bulk. big package. But then again, we will put it there and then it will get bad and then half of it will go to, to trash. Yeah. Then we ended up spending more than what we actually need. Yeah, and though, uh, in regards to the unnecessary things, we had subscriptions, especially this person right here. I used to, not anymore. <laughs> oh, she learned a little bit on that. But uh, she had something called a boxy charm. And she... Oh, guys, you don't want to know what that is. Uh, tell so, if you guys don't know what that is, that is a makeup uh, subscription, of course. <laughs> So I used to get that box every month and it's not that expensive but it will add, add up little by little you know and sometimes I wouldn't even even open the box because I had accumulated so much makeup and so much products that I would not even use so I had to start giving them away or you know because I don't need them and it was just sitting there in my vanity for no reason yeah. Yeah. so there was um, a few other subscriptions like Spotify or iTunes that I was having and I really didn't use them too much. Another one was like cable. Um, we used to watch Netflix a lot so we didn't really use and watch like channels like DirecTV and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you have those and you don't use them, 
we would suggest to take them off and these things add up another thing was the um, purchasing a lot of junk food um, we used to purchase like energy drinks um, candy chips Starbucks. yeah coffee these these things were adding up and so we cut those things out and we saved based on what we're seeing here we saved over at least over 200 300 dollars a month so what we recommend to do before purchasing an item that's not ne not a necessity is to wait at least 24 hours think about it and then ask yourself will you use this every day do you really need it do you really need it it definitely has benefited us so we'll definitely make sure to let you know about it hopefully um, if you do try it out it can help you save some money yeah. too this moves on to tip number four which is sell or return things you don't use so if you have made the mistake which we all have <laughs> of purchasing something we don't really need or we don't use at all try to return it or if it's too late for return it sell it yeah you know try to sell it for a good price that way it's not sitting there for no reason and it will keep you accumulating more stuff that like, you don't need. Like my PlayStation 4 Pro that um, I barely used. I probably pretty much like used it for three times. So um, mm -hmm. I had to list it in the market and basically sell it because I really didn't use it. Um, it was just a waste of money. So at the end of the day, sold it and got my money back. So uh, yeah. Try doing that. And another thing that we also want to point out is in regards of storage. If you have a storage membership, be sure to notice if you are overusing that storage subscription. A lot of people pay monthly in storage mm -hmm. and um, they're missing out the point of what is storage. They use it as like a source to just store things and pay a monthly fee instead of just using it for a certain amount of time and then take it out those those payments can quickly add up to pretty much the price of the item you have sitting there <laughs> yeah they can be pretty much costing you more than the price that are actually um, that these things are sitting there and the things will also lose their value because they're not being used or they will get really old get really old rotten rats spiders <laughs> Yeah, because if you have it sitting there, it's for a reason. That means that you really don't need it. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Tip number five is do things for fun that most of the time is for free. So this one is actually pretty good because we've been liking this one a lot. We've been practicing these lately and we actually been enjoying ourselves even more now yes. than before. Than before, <laughs> yeah. We used to go out to... Um, to the movies and we spend you know a great amount of money in popcorn and candies and Soda. such and stuff and then we used to go out to really cool restaurants and most of the time we used to go out to restaurants almost every week and sometimes I would say almost daily yeah almost daily and this was quickly adding up um, so now we are doing things that are basically for free. Sometimes we go for a jog or a bike ride. Sometimes we to go, the park. go to the park, we go for walks. We take Chiquito to the beach or try to spend time with him a little bit more, like we play with him. Yeah, sometimes we play Monopoly together in the house or play board games, bring friends in the house. Watch a show on Netflix. Yes. And all these things, you know, we have the same amount of feelings of being happy and, you know, just being together um, and saving each other lots of money doing this has made it even more fun. So if you can make it as a game, you can actually even have more fun than going out and wasting money. So that helped us save well over a thousand dollars just in that tip alone because now we wasn't spending too much money in regards to food or entertainment, entertainment going out. So if you are a person that eats out a lot or um, spend a lot of money and going shopping and entertainment things, um, this is something that we would suggest to do. One bonus tip that I think we forgot to mention is... What is it? Uh, try to cut on bad habits. Ooh, yes. Like 
alcohol, cigarettes, yes, tobacco, energy drinks. You know, mm -hmm. nowadays we buy so many energy drinks and pay like two dollars daily for it and you multiply that by 30 that's 60 dollars a month and it will help you with your health you know like it's it's actually harder to do it than saying it right. but it's act it's actually good for your health mm -hmm. and for you to save more money so yeah and yeah i mean we've we've done this for what a couple of months now and it has saved us tremendous amount of money guys so hopefully these tips help and if you like videos like this please smash that like button it will help us greatly with the youtube algorithm and if you haven't done so subscribe to our youtube channel so you can stay on top of our latest videos leave a comment down below tell us what you think about this if you have an extra tip leave it down below if you like us to talk about a certain um some as in a specific thing you can also let us know and we will be happy to do so yes mm -hmm. so with that said guys thank you so much for watching to the next time and until next time deuces deuces i think we did really good. <laughs> did good yeah all in one shot right there <laughs>